pros and cons of living in Delaware. We're going to talk about it and we're getting started right now. Hi everybody. I'm Cheryl Babby. Welcome back to my channel, Delaware Finest Realty, brokered by EXP. Number one is diversity. We have a cultural plethora of people living here in Delaware, not only culturally, but age. We have a lot of families that come to live in Delaware. Um, we also have a large senior community. This is a wonderful retirement state. I think we're probably number two when it comes to retiring. We have a lot of um, people who are coming down from New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, and they're able to retire in Delaware, which is fabulous. We also have many, many different developments within our two and a half hour, yes, two and a half hour state. It takes that long to get from Northern Delaware down to the very tippy, tippy, tippy at the bottom by the beaches. Uh, we only have three counties, which is so adorable. Um, I grew up in New Jersey. Uh, yeah, it's a small state, but there's a lot of people there. Uh, I love Delaware because there's still under a million people here and they still only have one area code which is, if you're looking for a place that has less population, this is your place. My number two is beauty and nature. No one would really think that Delaware it has a lot of beauty or nature, but if you think that way, you really don't know much about our beautiful state. Up north, you have so many different areas you can go to to learn the history of our wonderful first state that I want to uh, remind everybody. We are the first state, first state to sign the Constitution. And you can learn, a, there's a lot of history there. All the way down to the bottom of the state, uh, you want to go to a beach, there's a beach for you. Huge beach community. There are so many state parks in this state it is amazing and every one of them has frisbee golf which is great you want to go hiking kayaking fishing anything i mean delaware is the place to be number three is our weather our weather is more of a mild four season weather area it's it's it truly is so during the winter months we do get snow we don't get as much as the northern states on the East Coast do. Um, so the, the winters are very mild, my experience, 17 years. Um, we do have the four seasons, so it does get really hot. There's a, there's a con. It gets hot and it gets sticky, um, which I don't think anybody's really a fan of. Some people like a dry heat. I'm not a heat person, but... For overall, you get your four seasons, and it's green, and it's lush, uh, especially up north. There are a lot of parks that you can see, a lot of the foliage in the fall. You can, I wouldn't suggest going out in the winter as much because it's kind of sad because all the trees have no leaves, but it really is a great time to hike, but that's just my opinion. Number four. We are centrally located. We are on the East Coast. We are a stone's throw from Maryland, New Jersey, and also Pennsylvania. And we're not that far away from New York or Washington, D.C. and Virginia. I mean, we are, like I said, centrally located. If you still have family in those other states and you want to retire here, or if you want a better quality of life, a lower cost of living, Delaware is really someplace that you really need to take a look at. I would suggest just reaching out to me, call my phone number or email me, and I can help you find the area that would work for your family. Unfortunately, there is a con, and one of those cons is the fact that we are a very transient state. We are kind of stuck between New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Virginia, so we're kind of that transient state where they're, they're, we're the go-through. It, it, there's no other way of, of, of saying it. Um, one of the other cons, I guess, would say, I would have to say, we also have the largest mall um, 
on the East Coast, uh, the Christiana Mall, and right in the middle there, closer to the north northern section than the southern section, around Christmas, it's a little crazy. Then, after Christmas is over, then we go into the beach season, and a few from north the north area of our state to get to the beach. It's probably around an hour and a half, which is great. I mean, you can just go down for the day. It's great for families and kids and, you know, something to do. But you're going to sit in traffic. So I'm going to warn you, go early in the morning. It just makes life so much easier if you go in the morning, less traffic, and you're going to get to the beach in a much happier mood. And I have to say one of my all-time favorites is the fact that Delaware is tax free. No sales tax. There's not that many of the states within the United States that are tax free. So if you want to go to the Christiana Mall or down, that's up north, uh, or if you want to go down to the beach by Tanger Outlets, tax free shopping. It's fabulous. Another part of tax I'd like to quickly go over is property taxes. We came from New Jersey um, 17 years ago, and one of the main reasons was to have a better quality of life, a cheaper cost of living, and nicer home, and there was less people, which was great. There was a lot of things, but as far as the property taxes, because other states are out of control, Delaware is still one of the lowest property tax states in the United States. So... Um, to give you an idea, when we first moved down here, we moved to Dover, which is centrally located in Kent County. There is Newcastle County, Kent County, and then Sussex County. And we purchased a home in Dover, Delaware. I was working in Pennsylvania, so it only took me 35, 40 minutes to get there, which was great. And we had an acre of property, and we paid $1,200 a year. I used to tell my friends in New Jersey what we were paying for our property taxes, and they said, oh, a month? It's like, no, a year. I mean, I know folks up in New Jersey, northern New Jersey, they're paying $25,000 just in property taxes. So if you want to save a lot of money, um, you can do that as well. One other thing for anybody who is looking to retire to our fine state, you, after moving down here, after 10 years, you no longer have to pay school tax, which is wonderful. Um, it was three years and just recently, unfortunately, they moved it to 10 years that you have to be living in the state, but it's still a great savings. Um, so it's just another perspective on another reason why to live in Delaware. Number five, there's always something to do in Delaware. If you don't want to go to the beach or if you don't want to go to a museum, that's fine. You can go to one of our many state parks and you can rent a kayak. You can even go rock climbing. I mean, that's crazy. You can go zip lining in Lum's Pond. There is, well, not in the pond. I, I wouldn't go zip lining into a pond, but uh, it's very close to, it's in Lum's Pond in Bear, Delaware. Where? Bear. Where? Bear, Delaware. So there is a uh, go ape zip lining and you can test your strength. You can also rent one of those old time paddle boats and you can paddle around the, the, the pond. It's, it's, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big pond. You can get a rowboat if you want to use some of your muscles, which is great, but it's great for the kids and you're getting out and you can barbecue within the park and bring your own food. And there are so many parks, even down South, um, by the beaches, Lewis, Bethany Beach is, is wonderful. Um, those areas are just really the highlight of the state. So really, if you want to come to see Delaware, just reach out. I'm going to be continuing to do more videos. Subscribe, hit that little bell, and you'll be alerted when I have new videos. And be honest, in the comments, if you want me to cover any area, I'm going to be going out uh, to certain areas so that you can see, you can see it. <laughs> Me sitting here isn't helping you any. So in the future, that's why I said subscribe, um, I will be going out on the road showing you all the areas of Delaware. See you soon.